One thing the 16-bit era really shined at was local two-player multiplayer games. You know, multiplayer where you would sit in the same room with the person you played with instead of screaming at strangers online. Coming right before the time of consoles integrating more four-player multiplayer, and then of course online multiplayer, the 16-bit era had a lot of great two-player games. And sure, there were a handful of games that could utilize multi-tap so you could play with more than two players, but my point is that the majority majority of 16-bit era games with multiplayer focused on two players. Naturally, lots of these multiplayer games would have you competing against each other, with Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat being some of the most prominent examples, but sometimes being on the same team can be a lot more friendly, not to mention enjoyable. In fact, I'd say some of the best gaming experiences most of us have ever had were playing co-op games. So with that, let's jump right into some of the best ones for the Sega Genesis. I've ranked these games from number 10 to number 1, but of course I anticipate everybody to have their own personal rankings, and there are more than just 10 good co-op games for the Genesis, so be sure to mention in the comments which games you would add or disagree with. Okay, number 10 on my list is actually a game that can be very hit or miss with gamers, and that would be Altered Beast, but just hear me out on this one. Okay, so most most people who have played this game, including the fans of the game, will agree that it's a little bizarre and goofy. People like to make fun of this game, and that in and of itself can be really enjoyable. I mean, just look at the way your character kicks. What is that? Ballet toe? If you were in a fight, is that how you'd try to kick somebody? So my thought is that whether you like the gameplay or not, you'll have fun either by joking around with it or with the gameplay itself, and heck, maybe even both. Plus, it's not a very long game at all, so it's really not much of an investment to give this game a shot. Number 9 on my list is another classic Genesis game, and that would be Golden Axe. Now, some people would argue there are better beat-em-ups, we'll get to those later in the list, but it's hard to go wrong with a classic beat-em-up. It's just such a straightforward game that's easy to pick up a couple of controllers and get right into things. Like Altered Beast, the game has a number of fun little touches that always make me laugh, like beating on the little thief elves to get magic and life, the screaming sounds that the enemies make when you defeat them, or even just the name of the game's villain. Death Adder, which I thought was unique to this game, but apparently it's also the name of one of the world's most deadly snakes. Yikes. Okay, number 8 on my list would be World of Illusion, and this is where the strength of the list really starts to shine through, because this is a really fun co-op game for being ranked as low as number 8. It's basically for fans of Castle of Illusion, which is an awesome game, who want to play two-player co-op. The game isn't crazy difficult either, so you should be able to make some good progress in this one, and what's fun about it is you actually have to work together. So if one player is screwing around, it's not going to work, and this aspect actually makes you feel like more of a team. Similar to Castle of Illusion, the level design is really imaginative, and a lot of fun to work your way through. Finally, there weren't a lot of more traditional platformers back then that had co-op, making this a nice, unique experience. Number 7 on my list would be Sunset Riders. People will often tell you that the Super Nintendo version is better because it's closer to the arcade version, which I tend to agree with, but I think that's the wrong way to look at this game if you want to have fun with it. It really does feel like an almost entirely different game to me, and it's pretty solid for what it is. Like the other versions of Sunset Riders, it is a tough game though, so having an extra player to essentially double your firepower is really helpful. You basically want to kill everything on screen before it really has much of a chance to even fire at you, so a two-player co-op session can be really satisfying if you get on a roll. Number 6 on my list would be NHL 94, or really any of the NHL games, but 93 and 94 are my favorites. One of the most iconic sports games of all time, I actually have the lesser known Sega CD version of NHL 94, and it should be noted that you can play with up to 4 players if you have a multi-tap in this game. And that goes for the regular Genesis version, as well as the Super Nintendo version, which can even do 5 players. And yes, you can all be on the same team, which is pretty awesome. 
Anyways, what makes this game so fun is that you're essentially trying to set up whoever you're playing with a nice pass so they can get a good shot on goal and hopefully score. Then of course on defense, you're just trying to hit whoever has the puck until you knock them over and take the puck back. All right, number five on my list is Contra Hardcore, and this would probably be even higher on my list if it weren't for the fact that it's so, well, hardcore. This game is classic Contra run and gun action, really challenging, and you better make sure whoever you're playing this game with is worth a damn. That being said, if you're playing this with somebody who's good at it, it could be really fun, and I mean really fun. So just keep that in mind. Number four on my list would be Toe Jam and Earl. What's interesting about this game is that it's actually the one game I would say you almost have to play co-op if you're going to play it. You could still have some fun with it by yourself, but the game really was designed with co-op in mind. I mean, the game is called Toe Jam and Earl. This is actually a lot of people's favorite game on the system for a reason. You're basically just moving from one floor to another, looking for spaceship parts, which reminds me of Pikmin, as well as the elevator doors that will take you from one floor to the next. You get lots of goofy items that you can use along the way, and the levels are procedurally generated, if you choose, so the experience will never be exactly the same. Number three on my list would be NBA Jam, which has a ton of ports, but I actually do recommend it over the Super Nintendo version at least, which is oddly missing background music. One of the most successful arcade games of all time, the Genesis version is pretty solid. It's got fast-paced gameplay, fairly simple controls, and it's just something that pretty much everybody knows. So it's really easy to convince a friend to jump into a quick match or two. The iconic catchphrases, shoving players onto the ground, over-the-top dunks, lighting the ball and net on fire, it's all here and a very sure bet for a fun two-player co-op game. Number two on my list, and I actually went back and forth with what's number one, but for number two, I would say Gunstar Heroes. This is arguably the best run and gun game ever made, in part due to just how action-packed and frantic it is. Stuff is blowing up constantly all over the place, and adding a friend only increases the hectic nature of it all. The game is an absolute blast, both literally and figuratively, and I just have a hard time imagining two friends playing this together and not having a fun time. The game has different weapons and combinations you can form, so not only are you figuring out which combo you want personally, but which combo the two of you have together, resulting in a ton of different possibilities when deciding what's most effective for the two of you. All right, now before I do my number one, I need to mention why a few great co-op games aren't on my list. Games like Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Lost Vikings, I would actually suggest playing on Super Nintendo instead if you have the option, although the gameplay experience is similar enough on both consoles that you're still going to have a good time if you choose to play the Genesis versions. Lastly, I didn't put Hyperstone Heist on here because despite being a great game, I'd actually recommend Turtles in Time on Super Nintendo over it. But again, Hyperstone Heist could be argued as one of the best co-op games for the Genesis. So you know what? Screw it. I'm putting it on this list. Let's just pretend it's in whatever spot you think it deserves. All right, and with that disclaimer out of the way, my number one game is Streets of Rage 2. Funny enough, a lot of people think this is the best Genesis game, period, and it really does deserve all the praise it gets. During a time when beat-em-ups were super popular, this game really stood out with its excellent music, theme, character design, movesets that weren't as basic and limited as some other beat-em-ups felt, and enemy AI that was challenging but didn't feel super cheap. The game was a home run, and running through it with different characters each time is always a lot of fun. Okay, so that does it for my list. You know, making this list has really reminded me how much fun I've had playing co-op games. It alleviates two of the most common problems associated with playing video games with a friend. The first one being you and your friend getting pissed off at each other because you're playing a game against each other competitively, or of course playing a one player only game where one kid just hogs the controller and doesn't share. Everybody had a friend like that, right? And nobody ever seems to admit to being the one who was doing the hogging of the controller. Funny how that works, right? 
Okay, so of course let me know which parts of my list you disagree or agree with, since everybody's list is going to differ, and most importantly which games I left off. I'm most likely aware of any games you'll mention that were left off, but it's still good just to have them listed down in the comments. Okay, so be sure to leave those comments down below, and I will see ya in the next video.